I am feeling optimistic, guys. I, <laughs> at the, the first, well, I should say the first week of Jillustrations, I was feeling like, oh, what have I done to myself? When you get a bad start to the whole month, it's like, is it really going to get any better? If I don't have ideas now, if I don't feel motivated now, what's it gonna look like later on the month? Am I actually gonna just quit this challenge? If you don't know, Jillustrations is the challenge that I made where I do an illustration for every day in the month of July. And if you've watched my other Jillustration videos, you'll know that uh, the first week or so was rough. Uh, to say the least. I basically had no ideas the entire time and stayed up till two or later every single night. But fun times. I, Bailey Kiriko, have an important announcement. I'm actually, maybe, <laughs> starting today's illustration on time. It's 2 p.m. here. This is undoubtedly the earliest that I started. And and I think, I think I just might actually get to the, not just the sketching part, no, 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 not just the sketching part, but the actual drawing, illustrating part at today, at two. Pretty impressive, right? So it's only about 3.30 and I think I'm actually finished with this illustration. I'm kind of impressed with myself for once I didn't uh, procrastinate and leave it all to the very last minute. Maybe this is the start of a, a new chapter in this uh, month-long illustration challenge where I will actually get things done on time. That would be amazing. <laughs> Uh, I just have to try not to get my hopes up too much because uh, uh, I know how that goes. <laughs> That's basically a, a recipe for failure if I do. But I think I'm getting, I think I'm getting the flow of this more. Like actually, <laughs> I'm starting to become more happy with the illustrations that I am creating. For example, this one, I'm pretty happy with it, even though it didn't take um, a long time to do. Um, whereas before, the very early illustrations, I was not happy with pretty much any of them, sadly. Um, not, like, they were okay. But I wasn't, I didn't really, yeah, I just, <laughs> they weren't the best. Um, but now I'm feeling like every time I'm making an illustration, I'm like, ooh, this is something new, this is something different. Like, I'm actually putting more effort into it. Like, before I was trying to, I just couldn't think of anything. But now, maybe now I've gotten my uh, creative boost that I so desperately needed. But yeah, like I said, trying not to get my hopes up here. It could all go downhill from here. So, we'll see. We'll see. It's July 11th. Um, it's about one o'clock. Yeah, it's about one o'clock. I had to check there for a second. And I already have my idea pretty much fully thought out. Like, I know how it's going to look. I, I have an idea of where everything's going to be. And I've known what I was going to draw today since maybe 11 last night. Maybe this is actually going to work. Like, I know I said this yesterday, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about this. I think if I can get um, each illustration done before nighttime, I can use the nighttime more to think of ideas because I find a lot of the time that's when I'm most creative. So I think if we can get, and by we, I mean I, <laughs> if I can get a pattern going where I'm always preparing for the one ahead. This is gonna go so much smoother and it's just gonna be all nice and good. But we'll see, we'll see how this, this day goes. I'll, I'll try to keep you guys updated. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm actually, I feel like I'm really getting the rhythm down and 
it's a good feeling. It is a really good feeling. So the one issue with trying to um, get my illustrations done earlier in the day is, at least for today, editing. I am trying to get the second installation of Jillustrations out today, um, and I kind of want to get it out before it's too late in the evening. And um, that kind of coincides with trying to get my illustration done around the same time frame as well. We'll see which one is uh, victorious. I'm aiming more for the editing than I am for the drawing, but I have worked on it um, a decent amount. I have sketched it all out. Um, you probably can't really see what's going on too well, but there's a bunch of mushrooms everywhere and um, a hand. I'm not sure what I think about the hand right now. I think it it looks a little off, but I don't know if I really want to invest the time in fixing it. We'll see. I just hope that I can resist the urge to procrastinate because that's really what I feel like doing right now. So I'm probably going to paint for a little bit just to give myself a break from editing and um, go on from there. <laughs> So an update on how um, the illustration and editing are going, they're not. Um, at least the editing, I've officially decided just to drop that um, because I realized I'm, I have too much work to get it finished tonight and um, keeping this challenge going is more important to me than that. So um, I'm just doing the illustration now, which is kind of a relief for me because it's getting a little late. It's about 10 o'clock and I am exhausted from staying up so late in previous nights. So I just want to get this over and done. Hopefully it will be done by 11. It's a little doubtful though. I think I'm done on this. Um, it's about 1230, which is a little later than I hoped to be finishing it. Um, so I haven't had a lot of time to think about what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, which is kind of what I hope for. Um, I have a potential idea, but I haven't really developed it enough to know if I'm going to do it or know if I'll be happy with it if I do it. So it's really up in the air. Maybe I'll be able to think of something um, as I'm going to bed. I could work on this a little more. Um, but seeing as it is so late, I don't really want to stay up till 2 in the morning again. <laughs> so I think I'll stop here. Um, all in all, like for what it's worth, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's, it's not anything super special, but it, it doesn't have to be. And I kind of like the whole idea of, of seeing this end drawing it in and it's the only gray thing there. I wish I had a little more time to shade it realistically because you can have some realism in illustrations, right? Um, but for what it's worth, it's good. It's not the best hand ever, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm kind of tempted to add um, a bit of a blue background before I go to bed. Mm, I don't know though. <laughs> You'll see. I'll, I'll show you a picture if I change it. But for now, I think it's about time I um, get ready for bed. I'll see you tomorrow, as always. So it's um, one. And um, I bet you can guess what I'm about to say. I haven't started my drawing at all yet. Um, I just finished editing the video. I ran into some te technical difficulties and um, some procrastination as always. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to draw. Maybe a turtle. I don't really know. Something fast, that's for sure. <laughs> kind of want to go to bed. <laughs> It's kind of ironic, isn't it?
<laughs> last video I said that I was slowly starting to accept the fact that I was probably going to do illustrations later in the day and just work on them later in general. And um, for this next little section of illustrations, I'm trying to actively do the opposite. Like, did I change my mind or something? Um, no. I'm, I guess, I'm kind of like go with the flow kind of person. I felt like it was going to be a bad idea if I really pushed myself to do that. I just didn't feel ready to it. I felt a little too stressed out, a little too almost burnt out, honestly. Um, and that was a lot of that had to do with staying up so late, doing them so late. <laughs> But now that the opposite thing is happening and I'm actually starting to get ideas earlier in the day and starting to work on them earlier in the day, like there's no point in me purposely trying to put it off. And it is a better thing. It's definitely a better situation overall. And so I'm going against what I uh, said earlier. Maybe I'll end up going with my original idea. And you know what? That will be fine too. Uh, I'll just, we'll just, we'll have to see. And especially after what's happened today, <laughs> with me finishing that this um, illustration much later in the evening, um, maybe that will be the outcome. Who knows? But I'm still gonna try. This is what I got out of last night's uh, drawing. The monochromatic color scheme helps it a lot as far as interest. And I really like Hedgehog, so it gets an automatic pass from me. As you can imagine, the whole late night thing last night has kind of messed up my whole staying on top of things idea. So I am going to try as hard as possible to get back into the rhythm of things. And I have definitely set up somewhat of an obstacle in my path to do so because I have to think of something to draw. I have to draw that and I have to hopefully think of something to draw tomorrow so that I can do that earlier in the day. The problem is, other than the fact that I still don't know how I'm going to draw, is that it's 5.30 um, and I am going to be kind of busy this evening. I'm doing some things with my family. So that's going to make this whole thing quite tight and I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Um, I think the only way that this could possibly work is if I do something pretty simple again. So that's, that's what I'm going to aim for, but we'll see what happens. So just a quick update. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to draw. It's 6.30 now, but I do know what I'm drawing tomorrow down to pretty much the details of it too. It, it definitely makes this whole um, <laughs> trying to stay on top of everything a, a little more, a little more possible. I, I wish I wish I knew what I was drawing now because that's a little more important what I'm thinking of drawing tomorrow. A little too complex for today. Let's just hope I can think of what I'm going to draw within the next hour or so. And this is where it gets really tough because I'm watching a movie with my family so it's not like my attention is going to be focused on thinking of something to draw. That could potentially make it so I end up doing the illustration a lot later, but watching this movie also could potentially give me an idea of what I want to do. It's 10.30 now, which is a little late for my liking, um, but I do have an idea for what I'm gonna do now. I've actually had it for a while, but I had a bit of a hold up. I had to wash um, dishes, but now I'm finally getting to work on it, but I'm kind of expecting it to take a bit longer than I would like it to, so I guess I should get started right away then. So I'm still alive, as you can see. Um, I survived last night. I did finish it like I thought a little later than I would have liked. It was about 12.30 when I finished it, but honestly, it's not that bad, um, considering last week's, um, 
whole thing um, of going to bed at uh, two every morning, basically. <laughs> I'm also pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I even like the weird patchiness that's going on here, um, which was intentional, by the way, partially because I was feeling kind of lazy and I wanted to get it done as fast as possible, partly just because I wanted to experiment. Um, the one thing I did not account for was drying time. I always do this where I forget that paint sometimes has to dry and then that does not help me get it finished earlier. And let's not, let's not talk about the past. We should focus on the present. And the present is looking great. Um, I already know what I'm gonna draw, like I said, um, yesterday. And guess what, guys? It's only 10. This is undoubtedly the earliest I have ever started on my illustration. And a lot of that, let's be honest, has to do with, uh, I actually woke up on time. And one thing, <laughs> one of the reasons why I do not want to procrastinate nearly so much as I did last week, if at all possible, was because it has totally wrecked my sleep schedule. I woke up a lot later, which means it just took me a lot longer to be ready to start drawing and especially filming because I look like I am a zombie in the morning. This is a really good start. And not only did I think of the idea for today yesterday, I also did think of another idea I'm probably not going to do tomorrow, but someday in the future. I guess I should get started. Um, before I start talking until it's, uh, morning in the afternoon again. I'm back. It's, um, about nine o'clock, actually. And, um, I haven't worked on it that much. <sighs> so much for starting early. Um, it's, a, it's definitely a good thing that I did. Saturdays, much like Sundays, are very busy days for me. Um, I'm busy running around mostly doing housework and um, spending time with my family and all that sort of good stuff. And thinking back on it now, I might have bitten off a little more than I can chew. What I'm doing um, is what I would pretty much consider realism, or at least fairly close to it. Who knows where exactly the line between illustration and realism is. But yeah, I'm planning on adding some more illustrative, more cartoony elements to it afterwards. It's basically 12. Um, I just finished the realism portion of this, I think. I might do some touch-ups, but I mean, it's getting kind of late, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. And now I have to wait for it to dry. <sighs> Yay. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of regretting this decision. But in some ways, it is better than going through the day without having any idea of what you're going to do until the very last minute. But maybe I should have tried to think of an easier idea, a little bit harder. It's uh, 12.55, five minutes before one. And um, I think I'm done. Um, the illustration part of this is pretty, you know, pretty simple. That's kind of what I wanted. Do I consider this day a, a success? Um, well, I got the illustration done, so just good enough for me. <laughs> See what tomorrow brings. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna draw. So we're back to the start once again. The 15th was a kind of interesting day. I, I was up really early, so I broke the record for um, starting the earliest. I think I started around 8 a.m. I had the idea since the night before, I think, too. So that, that part of the day went super smoothly. Of course, some days I'm not only not working, I'm also really busy. So I didn't get to work on the actual drawing so much until much later in the night. But all things considered, it went really smoothly, and for once I wasn't using paint, I was using 
some really cheap Crayola markers which dry super quickly so I didn't have to wait for any drying in between or anything which felt amazingly nice after um, painting so much. And perhaps the best thing about that day was not only that I thought of an idea for the next day, I actually sketched the sketch for it. I kind of feel like I should start the day's drawing that day and end it on that day, but I don't know, it's, it's not really written in stone that that's cheating at all. It's really just my little thing, so I let myself sketch it out beforehand for once. I was actually just sketching it out anyway. I, I wasn't even exactly planning on using that sketch for the illustration, but as you will see, I did end up doing that. Guess what? I am halfway done this illustrations challenge. It's July 16th today, and like I said, I sketched out today's drawing yesterday, so it was really easy. All I had to do was jump right in and do it. Did I do that? Um, not exactly. I mean, I worked on it a little bit, but it's 8 o'clock, and... I only have this much done. I could make all kinds of excuses for why I haven't really worked on this and it would be a, a little bit legit, but when it really comes down to it, it's just because I've been procrastinating all day. So it's a really good thing that I sketched this sketch the night before. Really, the idea came from absolutely nowhere and I, I say that a lot, it feels like, but this was especially true. A lot of the times an idea pops into my head and then I draw it. Um, and it, it's usually a very vague idea, it's just the basic concept, but there is still an idea before I start drawing. For this one, I started drawing, had no clue what I was drawing, and it turned into this. That's that's about the extent of the idea planning. So when I say I didn't really plan this, I mean like there was no planning involved whatsoever. So I actually finished today's drawing and it's only 11, which it's probably the earliest of the, the illustrations that I started much later in the day. So I'm actually surprised with how quickly I got it done, and it's not like I've been working on it straight through since 8 o'clock. I've been doing a bunch of things um, in between. I probably started this more around 10. I really was not expecting it to be so short considering that I'm using colored pencils, and colored pencils usually take forever. Of course, I didn't blend them so much as I usually would if I was doing a um, a, realis a realistic piece of art, but still. I think I can safely say that I am finally on my feet and that things are just going to go so much more smoothly from here on out now that the challenge is halfway over. <laughs> Ideas are coming to me so much more easily. I feel so much more motivated to do things earlier in the day. I'm so much happier with the results I'm getting. So to say, but for the first week or so, nothing I really produced was that exciting to me. Um, I did like, I did really like one or two of them in there, but for the most part, I just felt kind of meh about them. And now I'm just, I, I just like the ideas more. I like how I'm doing them more because I'm just so much less stressed out. Of course, the, the point of the challenge was never to have these really gorgeous, beautiful um, illustrations every single day. And even now, I don't think that my illustrations are amazing. Um, but it is a really good feeling to be happy with what you've produced. Like, I'm getting into the flow of this. I'm getting used to it again. And it's just, it's really exciting. It's really encouraging and motivating. I probably said exciting um, far too many times. But yeah, um, I just think, I think this means good things for the future. And will I be able to keep this up? I don't know. I don't know. And like I said before, it's okay if I go back to late nights and um, not spending a lot of 
time and effort into the ideas and the production of the illustrations, that's fine. Um, but I do think it's definitely a lot more likely that I will be producing things that I am more happy with, and I am really excited for that. Excited again. Um, yeah, so that's my prediction of the future, but the story has yet to continue. So subscribe and click the notification bell if you haven't to see how this uh, story pans out. Wait, I have an announcement. A while ago, I did a video I called Dictionary Problems, where I took two random words from the dictionary and did an illustration inspired by them. Well, a while ago, I threw that idea out to some fellow YouTube artists and told them to have at it, and they indeed did. So if you want to check out to see what they created with that idea, I will have a playlist linked in the cards above. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later.